just out here trying to enjoy myself. You know, have muddy hands. When was the last time you just went outside without a cell phone and didn't think twice about it? Now, mind you, I'm a hypocrite, obviously. Um, but here and there, I do go places without my phone. I leave it at home and I notice that this minute anxiety slowly drifts away each time that I leave said house without said phone. Now, what does this mean? This means that <clears throat> true enlightenment, to truly be awake, is to not need a device to give you gratitude or to give you accomplishment or really to give you anything other than a telecommunication device. These cell phones really haven't changed at all other than the internet being incorporated within them. You know, at a 5G level, the, you know, the internet of everything in its totality has created a, a strong grip on all of us. I remember I heard that uh, in Japan they had internet rehabs a long time ago. And I think the internet was was unleashed, if you will, um, in Japan before for America. And I heard an incredible story my uncle told me about a picture that surfaced a long time ago of a guy in Japan with a laptop and a pair of Google glasses. So essentially what he had was, you know, his laptop hooked up to his glasses um, with applications and what have you. This is believable. And if you've ever heard of the Baghdad battery, which is, you know, a copper battery from thousands of years ago, you know, with the clay and the copper and the McJoygan, regardless, I'm just out here trying to express true knowledge in any form possible. You know, like I said, it's not that I'm not a hypocrite. The cell phone is enticing. It really is. You're taking, you're taking videos and you're, you're listening to yourself and you know, you're watching entertainment. It's, it's you know, knows where you're going. It tells you when to wake up. It knows who your friends are. We need to question everything, regardless of what it is or is not. Here's what I will say. In my lifetime, I have seen people go from not needing anything in their pocket. I mean, truly think about this. When you're young, you really don't. Maybe a set of keys to get back in the house. So we need keys, right? But now we need an, an internet device in our, in our pocket to survive in the modern day world. Something doesn't seem right about that in, in my eyes. So what are they doing? What, what would the reason for this space age technology be? Well, if you look at it from the most broad perspective you can, right? Which in any social experiment is what you have to do, right? Outside the box as much as possible. The amount of radiation that is emitted from these devices is so overabundant that I know for a fact you're supposed to keep them eight feet from your body, which is ironic, right? To say the least. What this means is that they are desensitizing our molecular structure to deal with radiation poison. In layman's terms, they'll be able to put a foreign object in our bodies very soon. I think that's what this comes down to. Um, in the chip world, you know, we, <laughs> once again, we'll, we will not leave our homes without this device. Obviously that look at what I'm doing right now. Um, but why, why would we have to have something that has a camera on both sides? Ask this question. What would the purpose in this be? Because that's, that's what you have to ask. What is the purpose? What is the reasoning behind everything? And then you got to ask yourself, well, where did the camera come from? Well, because it looks a lot like an eyeball. So if you think about that, let that trip you out. And remember that everything you see is being recorded in your mind's eye. So essentially, you're a, you're a robot already. 